Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Screeny. The final season of Game of Thrones is upon us. It's so close we can smell the dragon smoke rising up through the air. We're all busy anticipating who is going to end up on the Iron Throne and if our favorite characters will make it out alive. But that doesn't mean we can't reminisce. Join us as we take a look at 10 of the most satisfying moments on Game of Thrones. Before we begin, do us a favor by clicking that like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a video on your favorite TV shows. Number 10. Joffrey's Demise This wasn't just the most satisfying moment in Game of Thrones, but possibly the best moment ever in television history. Although, that's up for discussion. Poor Sansa Stark really goes through the ringer throughout the series. First, she's betrothed to Joffrey, who was obsessed with her. Then, she's tossed aside and forced to marry Tyrion, and later, Ramsay. We'll talk more about him later. While Sansa escapes tying the knot with Joffrey, Marguerite Tyrell isn't as lucky. At the wedding celebration, the two look at each other sweetly as the new bride feeds her husband pie, which was actually poisoned by Marguerite's grand mother Olena. It's a spectacular couple of minutes with Joffrey rolling on the floor. He's covered in vomit and gasping for air, which usually wouldn't make us beam, but he's evil. It's made even better by Cersei's front row seat as she holds her favorite child in her arms helpless. Is it morbid? Absolutely, but it's also perfect. It was all we could do not to give a standing ovation. And just like that, Joffrey's reign of terror was over. Number 9. Daenerys' Dragon Amelia Clark has made the headlines recently by revealing that she suffered two brain hemorrhages while filming the early seasons of the show. It's crazy to think that she was going through so much personally but still playing one of the most iconic characters to have ever emerged in recent years, isn't it? Danny has some incredible moments under her belt, but one of the best, most awe-inspiring scenes was in the season 1 finale. The Targaryen emerges unharmed from Khal Drago's funeral pyre with three new teeny tiny baby dragons on her shoulder. It's a pivotal moment for the rest of the show, and it's one that's earned her the nickname The Unburnt. She has a ton of nicknames by now, so it's sort of special that this one was her first. Fans of the book had been waiting eagerly for this moment to play out, and it didn't disappoint in the slightest. Number 8. Tyrion Slap Ah, we just love this show so much. It's looking back over scenes like this that make us remember why it's been such a smash hit. Tyrion Lannister, played superbly by Peter Dinklage, has a host of good qualities. From the get-go, we knew that Tyrion was different from the rest of the family. Plus, he hated his nephew Joffrey just as much as we did. Case in point, when the boy King throws his toys out of the pram after someone throws a cow pie at him in King's Landing. Rather than brush it off, he loses his temper and orders his guards to fatally punish him. Tyrion did what we all wanted to do, having a huge go at him by by calling him a vicious idiot boy king, before giving him a swift slap across the face. It's a brilliantly tense scene that has us punching the air in celebration. We kind of miss Joffrey, purely because we don't get to witness scenes like this anymore. <sighs> oh. Number 7. Jamie's Redemption so when Game of Thrones first started, there was almost no doubt in our minds that Jaime Lannister was one of the most deplorable characters that there ever was or ever will be. He's in love with his sister, he's brutal, and has a hand to play in getting rid of everyone's favorite family, the Starks. However, as the show progressed, it became clear that Jaime wasn't all bad. In fact, as much as it pains us to admit it, we sort of like him now. In Season 3, Jaime rescued Brienne of Tarth from a bear fight in a pit. She was never going to win with just a wooden sword in tow, so Jaime swooped in and saved the day. After that moment, Brienne and Jaime ended up forming a sweet friendship that no one really saw coming. There were some rumors of a romance brewing, but it's unlikely we'll ever see Jaime pining over anyone other than Cersei. Although, he's learning that she's not all she's cracked up to be. Number 6. Arya's Assassination 
Arya Stark has one of the most satisfying character arcs in the show, going from Miles Manor's infant to a many-faced assassin. It's a sad state of affairs that puts her on the path to being a killing machine, but it's also one that's worth every loss and misfortune. For us, anyway. Arya might say differently. We all know that she has a list she likes to repeat to herself fervently, and on that list was Sir Mirren Trant. The ruthless crusader hunted down Trant, the man responsible for the death of her mentor, Cyril Pharrell. She located him in a brothel where he was being incredibly creepy with underage girls and promptly put an end to his life in the kind of way that would traumatize most teens. This is Arya Stark, though, and that was the first in a long line of revenge slayings that would cement her as a force to be reckoned with throughout the rest of the series. We can't wait to see what lies in store for Arya in the upcoming season. Number 5. Ramsay's Deathly Dogs by season 6, Sansa has had enough of pretty much everyone and everything. She's been separated from her family, betrayed by Theon, and married off to a manical madman, Ramsay Bolton, who abuses her horrifically. She's miles away from the young girl we saw in season 1, waiting to marry Joffrey, who she thought was the bee's knees. Thankfully, Ramsay got his comeuppance when Karma came to bite him. Sansa watches on as Ramsay is eaten by his starving dogs, the very same dogs that he once fed his brother to. So, you know, things always come back around. The red-headed teen watches on without so much of a grimace, probably just relieved to see her tormentor finally getting put down for good. Next to Joffrey, this Game of Thrones death scene is the next best thing. It's a toss-up between who is hated more between the two silly little boys with incredible power complexes, and they say it's a man's world. <sighs> Number 4. Brienne's Pledge Brienne is one of the most kind-hearted and loyal characters in the series, who made a vow to Sansa and Arya's mother to protect her children. Brienne is strong physically as well mentally, so there's not a better person to have on your side. After a long period of separation, Brienne finally made her way to Sansa, where she got down on one knee and pledged her undying loyalty. It's enough to move a guy to tears, let me tell you. In a land as messed up as Westeros, you need all the friends on your side that you can get. Brienne is clearly moved beyond belief that she's managed to find Sansa again, as it's a cold, cruel world out there that likes to chew up and spit out Starks. I mean, just ask Ned. May he rest in peace. We can't wait to see Brienne battling for the greater good alongside her BFF Slash Master. Number 3. Sam's Bravery Samuel Tarly is right up there with Brienne of Tarth for being one of the nicest people to ever grace our TV screens. Unlike Brienne, though, Sam won't bite your head off or mortally wound you in combat, unless you're a white walker, that is. Out of all the people likely to slay one of the ultimate baddies, Sam is the least likely. However, as a member of the Night's Watch, he knows a fair bit about them. One vicious walker goes to steal Gilly's baby, but Sam wasn't about to sit back and watch any of that go down. Instead, he ran straight into the fray and got the walker where it hurts by using a dragon glass dagger. Up until that point, most people loved Sam but had to admit that he was pretty useless when it came to putting up a decent fight. The others in the Night's Watch soon started to take notice after he managed to skewer a walker. We all did a little happy dance over that one, especially as we knew the baby was safe. Number 2. Drogon's Wrath the dragons are arguably one of the best parts about Game of Thrones for fantasy fans. Who doesn't like the idea of little winged beings that can turn you into a well-done piece of steak? They started out cute, but as they grew older, they all started getting a little bit hard for Danny to control, just like regular adolescents. In the Season 3 episode, And Now His Watch Is Ended, Daenerys manages to gain control of the Unsullied army, but it's not all easy. By the time she's the new supreme ruler of this gigantic fighting troop, Drogon has had the opportunity to fry a slaver with his impressive flames. The slavers were pretty abhorrent anyway, so it was brilliant. Brilliant to see Drogon let his freak flag fly without any repercussions from Mom. Number 1. Lady Mormont Sass 
When you think of leaders, you think of big burly men like Robert Baratheon or Ned Stark, or courageous young underdogs like Jon Snow. So when Little Lady Mormont came on the scene in the latter part of Season 6, it was electrifying. No one expected the head of Bear Islands to be a 10-year-old girl, but that wasn't even the best part. The way she spoke to the Starks as they approached her for help in defeating Ramsay Bolton was jaw-dropping. Her poise, her attitude, and the way she stuck it to them was beyond brilliant. We can't help but feel like Lady Mormont and Arya Stark would make the best duo ever. You wouldn't want to cross those two miniature dives at any point, would you? Thank you very much for watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos on your favorite TV shows and tap one of the two videos on screen for another amazing video.